Are we live? We're live. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. This is our weekly Twitch Plays Kingdom Death stream, where we have an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster. We are in the middle of the People of the Stars campaign, but first up, who are we? We're Twist Gaming. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And I'm TP, which means you guys are playing. I'm helping you control your pieces. So we would like to point out first and foremost that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Spoils of War by Arcane Wonders, so big shout out to them. We did our spotlight session of them last night, had a good time with it, so check that out on Video On Demand if you had not had a chance to see it yet. So going back into Kingdom Death, Joshua, what happened last week on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? We fought a phoenix. A phoenix. A phoenix. Yes. Thanks to Narflek. Hooked on phoenix. And uh... We won. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It was a level one, though, right? It's level one. The fight happened a little quick. We had, so the like, was short. no resources. We, didn't... we got no hide from it. Yeah, we got we a bunch had... of resources. We got okay. no hide. Point taken. Um, so, yeah, that was that was last week. But what else happened last week, Matt? Double Gorm climbing. That, too. What else happened outside of Kingdom of Death? Um, we launched our Kickstarter? Yes. So, last week we launched our, oh god, this is the, our Table Breaker Kickstarter. This is a, a shameless plug for us, the shameless pug. Uh, so this is the mini Table Breakers, solid machine, aluminum, solid aluminum machine D20, uh, color anodized. This one's, what, a pound and a half, pound? A uh, pound and a half. pound and a half. And uh, I'm not going to roll it because if it comes anywhere near the Kingdom Death minis, Josh might kill me. Uh, ben might kill you. Ben might kill me too. As ben a, deserves to kill you. As a reminder, all of our minis are painted by the wonderful Fen. So if you enjoy the paint jobs that you see here, go check out his stream, and also go check him out for commission work, possibly. And then um, this is the. Yeah, that's the full size. It's yeah. a little bit bigger. Just a, just a little bit. It's. Just knock your balls together. Yeah, it's about <laughs> four and a half pounds. Almost five pounds. Almost five 4.8 pounds. pounds. Yeah, 4.8 pounds, that's right. I should know this. I did the engineering work on it. Um, but solid aluminum, hefty, 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 not wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. So go check that out on Kickstarter now. It is fully funded, so there is no worries about you not getting it. And it is www.thetablebreaker.com. Exactly. And Josh and Matt comparing balls again. Nothing changes. Nothing so. changes. Even if you guys just want to share that out, we'd greatly appreciate that. <coughs> so we do have a poll up right now. This evening we're going to be doing a nemesis fight. A choose your own nemesis fight, if you will. Uh, it is a level 2 nemesis. And our three options we have are the Butcher, the Hand, and the Kingsman. These are the core game nemeses. Nemesi. And you get to choose which one we fight. We have fought a level 2 Butcher on the stream already. Uh, Josh and I, this is our personal votes, would go for the Butcher. Not because we think it's the best fight, but because... We think it's a little bit more entertaining than the hand. The hand is probably what we would personally choose in our own offline campaign. Yes. So, but the butcher could give us the Forsaker mask or, or the other cleaver, which would actually be really nice. Yep, both options so, would be nice. I mean, it's still not a bad choice. We had some trouble with it last time. We had three dead survivors, um, but we managed to win at the very end because he got into like a kick loop, an almost kick loop, but a kick loop. Cool, cool. This is uh, no, no it is it's still level, level two. Three. It's level Timeline two. says a level two nemesis fight. Nemesis. So. so that's exciting. I think you mean aluminium. 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 Which one gives iron? Uh, Butcher gives a bunch of scrap. He does, and we could scrap smelt. But we need to go scrap smelting innovation first. Smelting. Smelting. Did he lose his bits in a? Terrible schmelting accident. His naughty bits. His naughty bits, yes. Like gold member, if you will. Solid gold? Solid gold. Someone, I sent someone with negative evasion versus level two busher. Hack city all day, every day. Oh, God. Whoever schmelted dealt it. <laughs> all right, so we're going to leave that poll up for just about another minute. In the meantime, uh, is there any more bookkeeping that we have to do? No, we can start setting up our... You can... Uh, have TP set up, up her character. Time. So in honor, we would like to point out that this is going to be the last stream with Revlo. So you all will be playing as Revlo Destroyer of Points. I'm going to miss the crap out of Revlo. Yeah. So TP, you are playing as Revlo Destroyer of Points. Let me know when you're ready for the stats. Yeah, it's going to be a second. One. That's one second. And I believe we get seven 
uh, departed survival. Right. And we have a maximum of eight, correct, yes. Josh? So more than likely, we're going to have maximum survival when we depart. Especially if you have any gear that gives you any. <clears throat> uh, okay, one second. Um, armor. Uh, your, okay, your armor, um, whatever your insanity... Did you play as them last time? I think you played as Red Bull last time. don't believe so. No? Damn, I, I played as... Um, our population might be a little bit lower. That's the one thing I did not update. I played as close to Survivor in range, okay. so we're going to do this all over from scratch. Okay, so you're playing as Revlo. You're going to have one insanity. One insanity. Uh, what's my head? Uh, your head is going to have three armor. Three? Okay. Keep going. I'm going to make this easy. You have three armor everywhere. Oh, that makes it super, no. super simple. Oh, Wait, fine. I'm sorry. Josh, they don't have boots. They don't have boots? They don't have boots. Right, I'm going to give you guys boots. Give me some boots. So wait, what should we take away from them? The lucky charm. They don't need that for this. Yes, it's true. We don't need a lucky charm. Yeah, if you want to give me something else in place of this lucky charm too, Josh, I would appreciate that as well. Um, so yes, I'm sorry. You will have three armor at all hit locations. All right, I have to move some stuff around. Well, I wish we had a list of survivors. so hard to keep track of who's still alive and who's used to going to battle. Might be something for season five. Did we just have something like that? We did. We did. But it's very difficult keeping it updated. Um, they do have player boots. I only have three boot cards, but we do have a fourth pair of boots. Okay, so they have a an invisible set of boots. Yes. Uh, Josh, is there anything that you can give me to replace this lucky charm? Anything that is perhaps magically delicious? You get it? I love the fishes. No, so lucky fish. charms. Um, I'm going to take the Wisdom Potion off them because they can't activate it. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. right, no. I have something close to pull, so. Um, it's the hand. Yeah, I figured it would be. It was getting less and less close as it goes on. So we're going to be fighting the hand this evening. So how does that affect it? Do we want the Lucky Charm now, Josh? Does the hand have crit locations? Yes. So I'm going to keep my Lucky Charm then. Uh, Twitch is not going to keep their Lucky Charm because they can't do anything with it. No. They can't. Okay. So let me know when you finally get something for them. So TP, what else do you need to... Oh, uh, you have plus one strength and plus one evasion. Actually, that's a lie. Just let me know when you're ready. To... Uh, okay. Stats. Movement. Five. Movement is five. Uh, accuracy. Your accuracy is zero. Uh, not ten. Zero. Strength? One. Okay. Uh, evasion? Uh, three. Okay. Um, luck. You're gonna have a deadly weapon, so you're gonna have one luck, effectively. Ooh, and, uh, ah. speed. Your speed is gonna be zero. Zero. Cool. We would like to note that we gave you guys some bandages, so you have bandages. Uh, any notes? Any notes? You have the Orator of Death and the Strategist Fighting Art. So orator, O-R-A-T-O-R? -O that is correct. And strategist? That is correct. Cool. Um, survival. Your survival is going to be a maximum of eight. Okay. And weapon. Two your, six four? your weapon is still a two six four. Sweet. And I believe that's it. Yes, it is. I stole close to survivor and range. I'm going to be playing as them this evening. Hmm. We might have a problem. What's the problem? What's the problem? Ignore the problem. There is no problem. You're a problem. You got 99 problems. But a Twitch ain't one? Ha! Ah, Josh, I need the core book, please, if you will, so I can start setting up. Um, I believe the hand just comes with the stone face, correct? Stone columns, probably, too. I believe you're right. Oh, no, just the stone face. Oh, no, stone columns. I, I lied. And a random. A random as well. How many stone columns? Three or four. Uh, one stone column card, so that's three columns. Let's this up a little bit. Tell me when it's good. Or you can't uh, I can't it. see it. And what's the rules for setting up the strategist? Um, just normal rules for the stone face. So it's four spaces away? Five From spaces away? Four what? edges? Four edge? Yeah, five. Is this? That looks fine now. Okay. Zoom up from the top. If you want, you can scoot the camera back a little bit and zoom in. Back is just going to make it cut off the top. So. Okay. Perfect. 
Uh, one random terrain. One random terrain. Uh, that, and then we got tall grass, hopefully. Nope, we got a canthus plant. And right. we got some top of pillars. One random terrain. We also have top of pillars because we have three people with strategists. So I can't summon more stone faces than there are in the game. But the other thing they can summon is a top of pillar. Really? Yes. Oh. Okay. Do you not have a hand as a as a crest? I do not. Crest white strips. Uh, I use the butcher. That would be <clears> the closest <throat> thing to it I have in there. And you place those. I don't know where you want to put uh, those. And five monsters. Let me know when you are ready for the monster stats. Where do we set up? These? Wherever the hell you want. Oh, where? we're on this board edge. Um, level two? A level two butcher. What is this? I thought it was the hand. No, I'm sorry, the hand. Life? His life is going to be 12. 12? Okay. No, that's that's a lie. He has life tokens, right? No, he has whatever his life is, and then he has that. Oh, you're right. The okay. fight works differently. Yeah, 12. Uh, accuracy? Uh, plus zero. Damage? Plus one. Uh. Evasion. Zero. Luck. Zero. Speed. Uh, plus one. Movement. Six. Speed plus one. One second. Oh. And toughness. Fifteen. Ooh. Anything else? Uh, no. Cool. He is just going to be a real pain. Now, reminder, this is the one where you... Oh, can you reduce the camera's exposure by one? Please? I can certainly try. All right, so we have a few cards to show off in the main in the card cam for you all. Ooh, that looks really pretty. It's a little bit up on the brightness, or no, no, I like it. I think it looks great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Uh, so we have his impossible eyes card, and that is. The hand can see everything. When the hand suffers a wound, place a token on the impossible eyes instead of moving a card to the wound stack. So, when the number of tokens reaches the limit, remove them all and f uh, flip this card to respect. So, TP, I lied. The monster is going to have 17 health. Second. Okay. Yes. So then we have the red lens card. His eyes start closed. The blue lens card, again, his eyes start oh, closed. Okay. And the green lens card, his eyes start closed. I did something. What? I don't know what I did. In reference to what? Uh, my... Man, I'm just waiting for this. Oh, okay. Oh, give me a second. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Just give me a second. I wish I knew. I made myself huge. And that's why you have to show self-control when you're eating. <laughs> Matt, these are the... Uh... Matt. That's a cup. Oh my god, you're saying, ah, huge! <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. Right-click on it, transform, reset something. This, this is, is the fight. fight with the gimmick, right? Can we do it properly? Um, it, what do you mean the gimmick? The gimmick of not fighting him. Gimmick is you just survive. It's not a gimmick. It's literally how you fight. Like it's one. Well, no, you can do it the real way. The, they're both the, norm, the normal way. The or way you can do it the survival way. Don't be a butthead, Joshua. Okay. Okie dokie. This is not a deck. I'm not Anna. That's fine. That's how cowards fight. I mean, we could try to fight in the right way. I just don't think it's a great idea. Uh, we have Ghost Step, which is, Ghost Step has unlimited range. Move the monster until it passes through the target, then stop and turn to face the target. Any survivors the hand passes through while performing Ghost Step suffers one brain damage per monster level instead of collision. Any survivors the hand ends its movement on while performing Ghost Step suffer collision as normal. And then finally, oh, I forgot about this, Polarized Aura. This is if a survivor has the same number of red, green, and blue affinities, they have a white aura. If a survivor has more affinities of one color, that is their aura. A survivor's aura may have, at most, two colors. 
Is that his trap card? Yes. <laughs> You're such a douchebag. <laughs> What's it intentional? The top card on the hit location deck is the trap card. You're annoying, Joshua. <laughs> You're such a douche. <laughs> uh, no, we don't... Um, Tactics card, I think you mean, Maelstrom. Yeah, no, no, we do not have any of those. No tactics. <sighs> Joshua, 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 Joshua. All right. You ready to get this started? New idea for next campaign. Josh can no longer shuffle the hit lo location deck. There is an option redeemable where you, you could have me shuffle the hit location deck. All right. Ready to start? Yeah, let's start. So we go first because we're defending our home turf. Oh, are, we, are we ready to start? Joshua. Joshy yeah, Bear. I, I want to start there because I hate you. All right. So we go first because we are going first. Yeah. We're defending our home turf. And I will check the top three cards of the hit location deck. So you're going to use the Cat's Eye Circlet, correct? Yep. Yeah, thank you. Go you. Josh, do you want to fight him the right way? I mean, do you want to, do you want to try to fight him? Not really. Can we try? It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen, Josh? Is he really a 15 toughness? That's awful. Alright, the first card up I could put up here is um, minus 4 toughness to win this location. So, okay. Um, I'm going to put this one first. Someone without a grand weapon needs to attack first. Why? Because uh, if they use do a grand weapon, they must spend three survival, or they suffer the broken arm severe injury. Because he already thought of that. Is the correct? Answer. Well, I uh, Twitch does not have a grand weapon. I can use my non grand weapon. Um, you also need something with reach because you have to jump up on the stone face possibly. And so I you have guys reach, can... and Twitch has reach. Yeah. So. Uh, the second one, if it is a wound, so whoever has the most chances to wound will get to close. So if they do two hits, they will actually get to close whatever lens they open. So I'm only going to... Is there a crit location? Mm, no. More than likely, I'm only going to be able to wound on a crit because he has 15 toughness. So that's awful. Yep. Right, 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 right. All right, so who wants to go first? The switch one attack it, or are we the playing, or, or are we playing defensive. So it's up to Twitch if they want to hit it or not. Thank you, Crit Cam. Thank you, Crit Cam. Thank you. Oh, they knocked all the salt out. All right, so TP, we would like to point out that since the monster has fifteen toughness and you have one strength and your weapon has four strength. You would need to roll a 10 to wound the monster. Oh. Well, I mean, I should try, right? Remember the first time we fought this monster? Oh, yeah, don't try. I mean, you could. Oh, wait, it's it. up to Twitch. No, you, you guys got mad at me. No, no, no. It's up to Twitch completely. I have no, They voted to fight this monster, so, you know. Do you guys want to hit it? They want to hit it and crit it. Get it? Huh? Huh? Eh? Eh? Does no one have champions right either? Oh boy, this could be bad. Uh, I have champion right on HBK. So you have a chance. We could hit him once. I mean, I have good accuracy. My problem is I don't have enough strength to actually do anything unless I crit him. Yep. That's. They, they want to do it. Do it. So you guys move up five. You still have left cheek. You're just a space away from it. So how much are we supposed to, uh, how many d10s? Two d10s. Two d10s. Crit it and quit it. Five. And a ten! So that's one hit. I'm Is sorry. Six plus? Uh, they hit on a six plus, yes. That's a one hit. So now, you need another ten. You're attacking the Gilded Curus. So now I need an actual ten? Yes. yes. You will not wound him unless you roll a ten. Oh, that's a 10. They, they rolled a 10. Did you not want to eat it? That, that, Alright, uh, they're flipping over, open the red eye. Uh, okay, so the red eye is open, and now please do one wound to the monster. 
Monster wound. He's Tell also going to have his reflex. Monster wound. So he's got, he had, how much left did he have? 17. Right. So now he's 16. Right. Ghost step. Perform ghost step, targeting the attacker. If the attacker has a grand weapon, the monster uses the weight against them. They must spend three survival or suffer the broken arms. They injury. have a grand weapon. Not if they attack with one. Oh. So I'm so, glad that I didn't do Yes. That. So he's going to perform ghost step, so he's going to jump back here. And he you suffer is, one brain, yeah, two brain damage. You're going to suffer two brain damage. And his red eye is open. So what's the next hit location card, Joshy Bear? Uh, it's a minus four toughness. Okay. Wait, how much insanity did I have? One, I think. Correct. So that means... You have the zero and you check it. Yep. Wait. Do they... No, they don't open up the red eye. What's their... What do they have for affinities? Oh, um, they have red and a blue. red, a blue, red and a blue and affinity. So you guys can open up either the red eye or the blue eye. I would recommend the blue eye here because the next hit location card has a red eye affect. It's just the to first it. strike to it. Well, just, just argue with not... me. It's fine. I like blue better. All right, so you can open the blue eye. Yeah. Do I still have to take the brain damage? Yeah, you still take brain damage. It's just another thing. Then. then I don't care so much anymore. Okay. Matt. Yes. What do you need to hit? I can, Well, I would use the grand weapon because otherwise I'm going to hit the trap card. Okay. So I would need... I can run up and hit him in the butt. I actually have two natural accuracies, so I can hit him on a three plus. Okay. Well, what's your strength? My strength, I have one natural strength, five on my weapon, so that's... I'd, I need to roll a nine or ten to wound him. Okay. Oh, no, but it's minus four toughness. It's minus four toughness. So, I have the Zombato. I can do two damage to him if I hit him. So would it make more sense for me to hit him with the Zombato? Um, probably. Okay. What's your strength, though? It's six. It's the same as you. So Because I don't have a yeah, natural strength. You go first, and if you miss, because I've got a better chance to actually hit, then okay. I'll go after you. So I'm going to go in the butt. Or one, one D10, uh, I'm going to hit on a five plus. Okay, five plus. And Josh rolled a six. That's a hit. So Josh, you are attacking the... Exotic fur collar. So it is minus four toughness to win this location. Six. six. I think 12. that's just enough. No? That's 16 total with the minus four. So, yeah. And that's 12. Anyway, I need 11. What? I rolled the 12. I needed 11. Why did you need an 11? Minus four toughness. He's 15. So minus four is 11, right? 15 minus yeah, four yeah, is I'm 11. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't understand the way you were explaining it. Um, the attack. Ugh, the hand turns to face directly away from the attacker and crosses its arms. And the attacker's heart is frozen in terror. They must spend one survival or cancel the attack. That's fine. Uh, so you wounded the monster. So TP, please reduce the monster's life total by two. And I'm gonna open up his red eye with that attack. But the what monster does it say there? staggers on purpose. Cancel all reactions for the rest of this attack. Ignore all lens effects and instead flip all lenses to closed. So I closed all his lenses. So 14, not 114, like 14 line. Done. Okay. And that's the end of that. It is my turn. His next card is the trap card. I think our best bet here is is to take his next hit, mm -hmm. not open up any of his eyes, so we're not screwed, then beat yeah. him up again. And kind of, if we're going to try to do this, cycle it that way. I agree. Um, um, so can you do any utility stuff on your turn? I can't. I have no utility things. That is sucky. Bad. Yeah, that is sucky. Harumph. All right. I am going to spend a survival with HBK. Okay. And what are you going to do? I'm going to check the top two AI cards. Okay. So you're going to stack what's it going and put something on. better for us, hopefully. The soft chuckle. That one flips all of his lenses to close, so I would put that one second. Yes. Who has the gr most green affinities? I have zero green affinities. Twitch has zero green affinities. So that that would be me. I'm fine with that. Okay, so put that on the top. Yeah. All right. Okie dokie. So that is the end of our turn. You might want to move. Why would I want to move? He's going to go step through me. Ah. So he's going to land on. So, understandable. So, you can just go right here. Yeah. Fine. I'm going to go here. 
And that will be the end of our turn. It is now the monster's turn. So who's uh, Josh, you the monster controller first? Yep. So what's the next AI card? Next one is Liverblow. He's going to target me. Liverblow. Survivor with the most green affinities. So he's going to perform Ghost Step, so please reduce... Targets me, so I get an insanity that I'm going to lose two. So I'm at three. Correct. And now he's going to attack Josh. So TP, please roll three die. So did you say he took more life, or did, is it did Josh that, that affected him? What? Did you say Josh hit, hit him? I, I, was... I did that. Yeah, I did hit him. You did hit him? Yes. For the two damage. That's For the two damage. Okay, yes. I thought you were saying... Which technically shouldn't have happened. What? Should not have happened? I had to spend the survival to do it. Okay. And I'm immortal. I can't spend any survival. So you wouldn't have done... Just leave it. It's fine. Um, liver oh, blood. did you set the plants up? No, we did not. Oh, yeah. So you need to uh, roll three dice? Three dice? Uh, yeah, we need three dice to be rolled. They have two accuracy. Josh, what's your evasion? Um, I have one, two, three evasion. So it is going to be a 5-plus to hit Josh. If it does hit, it's going to do 5 damage each to wow. him. No, 6 damage each, because he's got a plus 1 damage. Six, 8, oh. eight, eight oh. three. 3 hits for 6 Oy. damage each. Oy. Ouch, skip bibbles. How m- what did I get? You got 3 hits for 6 damage each. The head, the body. Oh, wait. The head, the waist, wait. and the foot. What? I'm immortal. I have. Oh. I have brains left. So the first one's going to do how much? Six. Six? So I'm not insane anymore. I, I well, check my box and I have to roll on the table. This actually, do you have that cheat sheet? That'd make life easier. This actually might work out nicely. Six. So an eight. Uh, six. An eight is lunacy. Gain a random disorder and one d five insanity. Ha! Nice. Five insanity. No yeah. drinking for Josh now. It's a shame that we're just we're going away on vacation and he can't even drink. All right. So you get a random disorder. So what's your disorder, Joshua? Uh, Copra Lalia. All of your gear is noisy. You are always a threat unless you are knocked down, even if an effect set up, says otherwise. So, Josh, you're just very noisy. It's on our tank character, so... That's fine. It's fine. Do you have three disorders done now? And you gain five uh, okay. insanity. So, so take another six damage. You take another six damage. You I are... lose all my insanity again. And you roll again. I roll again. Oh, three. Three. Memory loss. Lose two levels of weapon proficiency. I don't have no one. Unfortunately, you don't gain any insanity from that. Okay. Which really sucks. You know what? It's the head. I'll dodge that now. Yeah, I would assume so. Oh, and I get to see if I use my survival. Back. And I don't even use it. I gain it back. You gain your survival back. Nice. So, I'm good. Really? Copro means feces? Hmm? So he's shit talking? That's kind of funny. That's amusing. I like that. Um, okay, so that is the end of the monster's turn. Yeah. Hmm. So it is our turn now. So right. what, uh, Josh, can you do something about the hit location? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Is there a critty one there? There is a critty one. Critty, critty? Critty, critty, bang, bang. I've never seen that movie. You want to put the crit on top? Should probably put the crit on top. If it's a good crit. It is. The other thing is though, on a critical wound, it does close all the lenses. Okay. Is anyone gonna be able to wound the other one though? I'm just super saying. Super probably Saiyan? not. Yeah. Alright, I'll put that on top. Okie dokie. So whoever has their best crit chance. That's me. So I am going to attack with the rib blade. I have two plus accuracy, so it is a four plus to hit the monster. That's an eight. That is a hit. So I am attacking his handed lantern. Now, I have more blue affinities than anything else. So does that mean that that opens his eye right now? When you wound, you open the eye. Oh, it's when I wound. Okay. Okay. So I have 
one natural luck. I have a luck charm, and my weapon is deadly. So I'm going to crit on a 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, yeah, the natural luck. Yeah. Nice. And that's a 4. That's a 4. Darn it. Well, I mean, it didn't... Like, there's no failure reaction there. So that's nice, I guess. So what's the next card looking like? Uh, if you wound... Um, you gain a plus one evasion and plus one accuracy token. Ooh. If you would. So who's got the most strength? I have six. That's probably... Do you have any natural strength? No. So I have a five and I have one natural strength. TP has a four and one natural strength. So I think I have a decent chance and the plus one evasion token for the tank... Wait. Would be good? Wait. Clawhead arrow. Is a six strength and he has zero. So they're all the... They're all the same. They're all the same. Okay. That's two. You missed. You do spend your survival, but you're surging to attack again. Yes. So go ahead and re-roll. What's your roll? A three. So you failed again. Yep. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are a failure. So why don't you have the clawhead arrow guy go? He went to check the hit location cards. Oh. So... Kind of can. I could surge and do it. The nice thing, too, is if you hit him with a claw head arrow, his evasion goes down. Um, it's a two speed. It's or a one speed. It's a one speed? Okay, that's not bad, then. It would be better if I jumped on top of the stone face first. Correct. So you can preemptively jump on top of the stone face now and do it next turn. I use a survival. I would use my action. I would use a survival to jump up in there. Right. All right. So you're going to use a survival to jump up on the stone face. Okay. Um... You, you want me to attack. Surge and attack. Mm-hmm. Or would, and because you already surged with the Zambato, so you can't do it. I'm going to surge, so I'm going to reduce my survival by one. And I'm going to attack. So I need a four plus to hit. That's four. That's a hit. So I am attacking the Gilded Sabaton. So I would like to wound. I'm only going to wound on a 10, right? Yes. Uh, That's horrible. Mortog's asking what happens to the points when Rebel leaves. We're going to transfer them to a new client. It's like it's a good roll. That would have been a crit on the other one. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a failure, unfortunately. So the nice thing is there's no failure location there, so nothing happens. Um, that is going to end my turn. Uh, TP. Mm-hmm. You can go, but the next card's the trap card. So you can collect the plant, or you can check his next two AI cards. Both would be beneficial. The plant is nice because if he attacks you, the plant is going to uh, allow you to cancel a severe injury. No, it lets no? you heal a uh, spot. Oh, dry to campus. Dry to campus, you're right. Um, but we do know the next AI card, and it's not a great one, so. What is the next one, anyways? Is that a soft chuckle? I don't remember Chance what that to does. knock us all down, do a bunch of brain damage. That's not bad, though, because we actually want you to get brain damage because then you'd become immortal again. And then TP has Orator of Death, so doesn't that mean she could stand us all up? Or she dies if she stands us all up. Oh, okay. Hmm. Plant. Let's do plants. So roll a d10. So you guys are collecting the Acanthus plant. You need to roll a d10. And Josh, what is the card? Do we have a magic missile? Sadly, we do not. Yeah, there is none of those in this campaign. No modifiers like that. A four. You find nothing. Archive this terrain. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Mini. All right, so that is the end of your turn. That is the end of all of our turns. It's now the monster's turn. So he is going to perform soft chuckle. Meh, meh, meh. Uh, the noise fills the survivors with an unprecedented dread. All non-deaf survivors lose one survival and roll a d10. Add each survivor's courage to their roll, and on a 15+, plus, the survivor is knocked down in fear. Otherwise, they get five brain damage, a minus one accuracy token from their shaking limbs, and full move directly away from the monster. That's horrible. I said it wasn't good. I didn't think it was that bad. All right, so roll and plus our courage to be 15+. plus. Yes. Can't happen, can't happen. No. 
No. So it, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. We all get this. So we're all going to suffer five brain damage. I rolled a five on the table. So a five on the table is danger seizure. Deal one damage to yourself and every adjacent survivor. Um, gain a random disorder and one d5 insanity. TP, mm-hmm. you have to reduce, you have to take five brain damage. I don't want to. I already have zero. Uh, right, so you're going to have to roll severe brain trauma. So please roll a d10. Huh? If I that, I didn't want to. We do I got a random have, disorder? We do have Embrace the Darkness, Valkmiel. You get, yeah, you get a random disorder. I rolled a nine. New perspective, you're knocked down and gain one d10 insanity. If I said I didn't want to, do I have to do it? Eight. Yes. I rolled a four. Hold on. A four is a six because we have except darkness. So you're gonna take one damage to a random hit location. So roll a hit location die, please. And then you're gonna gain a random disorder and one d5 insanity. So you're also going to need to roll a d5. You took one damage to the waist. By the way, you already have a body and arms checked. You should uncheck those. Oops, okay, one second. I need to catch up, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yep. Um, those are off. And you said I take a D5 of insanity. You gain, you D5. gain a D5. You gain a D5 of insanity. So you gain three insanity. One second. Insanity. Armor my brain goes up to three. Um, and then you're also saying that... You took one waste one damage. Waste damage, that goes down to two. Hey, it's Fen. What are you doing awake, Fen? What? Someone give them a... We already have one. A hand. You get it? Eh? Yeah. I can't really see like anything. Oh yeah, let's, let's move the scoot the board. There you go. That's better. Wait, why don't I do this? Stop. Da, 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 da. He doesn't listen. He does not listen. He just pretends that you're not speaking. Can you zoom up ah, to that little section? Calm down. If you could see it on the camera, you could zoom up to that section. Look at that. Still Stop there. moving. Pull it back. Good. Okay, so TP, you also are now prey. One second, hang on. Dirk, the character sheet. Dirk, 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 Josh, do not mutter to yourself. It is not fun for anyone. Long story I tell when I am home and not here. Oh, Fen's out partying. Ooh. All right, you can push it forward a little bit more. There you go. All right, we're good. All right, so TP, you're now prey. You may not spend survival unless you're insane. But guess what? You're insane. In membrane. All right, and we, what else happens to us? You're full going move away from crazy. Everybody. Yes, we all need to full move directly away from him. And we're not, we're not knocked down, right? You're knocked down because of your thing. So my uh, I, my note goes to prey. Yep, you add prey to your notes. Um, I'm pretty sure I would walk around the stone face. What do you think? All right, so the monster stretches its limbs, flip all lenses to close. They all are. So that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn again. So who wants to do what? We'll check the. Uh... Hit location cards. Is there a good crit location there? Because I can crit. The cod piece. Oh, I can hit him in the balls. Hit him in the balls. Yeah, someone's got to stand me up. No. So I can stand on mountains. Is that that you raise me up? No. I think, that, I think that's what it is. No. So are you going to raise stand me up or no? What is it? Are you going to stand me up or no? Yes, sure. Okay, thank you. What do I have to do? Roll to test see if you should survive him. No. So I'm going to run back up to him. And I'm going to attack. I now hit on a 5+, plus because I have a minus 1 accuracy token. TP, also, I'm sorry, can you update your character sheet? You now have minus 1 accuracy. No! That's a hit. So I'm attacking his gilded cod piece. I like that it's a gilded cod piece. Okay, so I need a seven plus here. Five. 
That's disappointing. Nothing happens. Uh, that would have been really nice. Would have been. That would have been really nice. So the next one is not one I'm probably going to... Well, we all have the same chance of winning. We just need a 10, right? Right. Oh, it's impervious. Oh, perfect. What's the reflex on? Um, you gain the priority token and plus one courage. That could be a good thing. Is anyone one thing away from upping their courage? I'm going to smack him in the face. Uh, five does not hit. Especially with the minus one accuracy token. Would you like to spend a survival and go again? You're going uh, around. Sure. So you gain do, my survival. You back. gain your survival. Yeah, you, you gain your survival back, and that's a perfect hit. So you are attacking his spine saber sheath. I don't know why I'm rolling. It's impervious. Reflex, you manage to slip past the hand's defenses, but connect with its indestructible sheath, which only enrages the monster. Gain the priority target token and plus one courage. So up your courage by one. All right. <laughs> I'd want a utilitarian and plain cod piece, so it's not to attract aggro or crotch aggro. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And the next one is the tarp card again. So TP... Just run back over? You could run back over. I wouldn't attack because the next card is the tarp card. You could check the top card of the the AI deck if you want. That's a ch Not that's too. an opportunity. Why do you always leave me with the tarp card? Because you have two speed, and the top card's been on the top, so unless you go very first. Very first? Yeah. Very first. As opposed to not very first. Yes. So top two cards. We have liver blow. Whoever's the most green affinities, which is my character. And bullet jabs. And bullet jabs. We're going to go for the liver blow. So it's only a two speed versus a five speed. But that one's less damage. Oh. One's two speed, five damage. The other one's five speed, two damage. Hmm. I'll take the damage. Okay. What's your insanity at? You only have two? I only have two. Yes. It's least survival. Slightly disappointing, though. All right, ready? Ready. So, so it's the monster's turn. TP, you're the monster controller. Wait, I didn't get to go? That was your turn. Well, what did I do? You, you checked, checked the AI card. Two AI cards. Oh. So, liver blow. All right, guess what? It's attacking. I'm surging. Damage. And I put out my shield. Okay. Oh, I see what you did there. Um. <laughs> Just, I can't. The comment that was there. Um, liver blow, so TP, you are attacking Joshua. So I need you to three roll tens. three D10s. You are going to hit him on a five plus, because you have three evasion, right? Yep. So a five plus is going to hit Josh. Let's get those low rolls out now. That would be nice. I like all the salt just kind of like jiggling in the cup. I know, I know. I just, it would probably be faster for you to type it at this point. A four, that's a miss. Oh, that's good. That's good. A seven. seven that's, that's unfortunately a hit. hit, but you have your shield up. My shield up, so. Let's get another low one. One more, oh, folks. Be nice. Low blow. Get it. Three. Okay. All right. So good. Lock one from shield. We're good. Oh, he does ghost up. And you get two brain damage. Yeah, so I'm down to zero. It would have been better if you had less. Yes, it would have been. So that is the end of the monster's turn, and it's our turn again. So, Josh, do you want to fiddle with the uh, hit location deck? Yeah. Ah. 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 Ooh, crit locations. Do you have two hit crit locations? Crit locations, crit locations, crit locations, crit locations. Why don't you do the non-super dense one first, and then you can attack that one. Yes, no, maybe so? No. Bring him down to Kokomo. That one does have a failure location, though. Choices, choices, Joshua. Choices, choices. So, I'm going to put Super Dead to you, because you have a chance to crit. Yes, right? I do. I have a pretty good chance to crit. 
So I'll put that. I'm gonna put the super dance first. So you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to run up to the monster. I'll go there, and it's going to be a five plus for me to hit. That's a two. I'm gonna spend a survival. Probably should have moved his blind. It wouldn't matter to have moved his blind spot, huh? No. Two went out of it. That's an eight. That's a hit. So I am attacking his shadow fabric gloves. So his shadow fabric gloves. I need a seven, eight, nine, ten in order to wound the monster, which would be a crit. Four. That's nine. Ignore all closed lens effects and instead flip all flip a lens card of your choice. Uh, a piece of armor breaks loose. Gain one broken lantern basic resource. So you get to flip a card of your choice? Yes. They're all closed. So you have to flip one. However, one it. opens because I wound the monster. It says ignore. It says all closed lens... Def ignore all closed lens effects. So when a survivor with a blue aura opens, you, that's when you would flip oh, okay. it. That's the effect of the okay. card. So instead, flip a lens card of your choice. You don't want to open blue. Okay. I'm going to open green. And then we gain one broken lantern resource. And TP, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Oh. So a monster has... 13 life. Okay. Super duper. All right, so who wants to go next? Joshua? Can I go? You could go. Note that... You can all, well, that's actually not a bad one for you to go on. Um, what? I said but. What happens if, oh no, green's open, not blue. So no, I would, I could, you could attack. That would be fine. Oh, I'm sorry, no. If you hit with both of them, you activate the trap card. Cool. What's the chance of them hitting with both? They have a six plus accuracy. Yeah, yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you Transcendent. Transcendent. I did not set up a ball. Um, um, so, you haven't been attacking that much because of the fact that you would have been hitting the trap card. And I'm assuming you don't want to purposely... I, I will the card. rearrange the cards again. Now? Yeah. I thought you did it already. I will do it again. Oh, okay. I'm a survival. No, I was going to say it would have been fine for them to attack without you rearranging them because I don't think it would have. they would have hit. Okay, one second. Um, who will get the final blow? The hand, rub blow, salty hole... Closest survivor in range. Closest and... What's your last character, Josh? Um, last character is uh, HBK. Who's HBK? This isn't horrible. So put it on top! Do it! Let's kill him. They need a crit anyway for this? Yep. Pretty, pretty, bang, bang. You're a pretty, pretty. Uh, they're going to get knocked back and some brain damage, but... So, TP, do you want to attack? Yep. Okay, so we're going to move you over. One, two, three, four, five. So please roll two d10. You are going to hit the monster on a six plus. I rolled a two. Two. That's not a six. And a one. That's both misses. Can I surge again? You may surge and go again. So please roll a d10 to see if you regain your spent survival. Now I'll get a ten. Yeah. Say la vie. Say la vie. Cest la vie. Cest la vie. Cest la vie. Yeah. As you can tell, we're cultured here. So cold. Hi, so cold. I'm Matt. Nice to meet You're you. Cold. Cold. You're like always hot. I know. Uh, seven. Oh, you hit. know that's to regain their survival. No. So you keep your survival. So now we need two d10s to be rolled, and we are going to have a number and a number. A three. That's a miss. And. My feet aren't cold? Go away. <laughs> a three, and let's get a big number here. We need a six plus for you guys to hit. Seven. Seven. Okay, that's a hit. Finally. So now, you need a ten here in oh. order to actually do uh, that. He has 19 toughness. Huh? He has 19 toughness. Yep, he has plus four toughness while this the green lens is open. So, you rolled a five. That is a miss. Fantastic. On a failure, perform ghost step. So, he's going to perform ghost step. Standing back on the stone face. You are going to suffer minus two brain damage. TP? Minus two three. brain damage. Why are you saying three? 
It's up for three damage. Oh, from Ghost Step. Oh, Ghost Step. And then another And then the monster stops the hit with a single hand and shoves the attacker away. You then suffer three additional brain damage. I'm already at zero now. I only have three. So, roll a d10. And then you get knocked back seven. So they're going to hit you. And then you get knocked down. Yep. I'm I'm not probably doing it anymore anyway. Why didn't I get knocked down? You got knocked back. Knock, knock. Not knocked down. So you rolled a five, so that's a seven, so you're gonna have danger seizure. No, lunacy, I'm sorry, lunacy. Gain a random disorder and one D5 insanity. So roll a D5, you're gonna gain that much insanity. And Josh, what is their disorder that they got? They're traumatized. Traumatized. Whenever you end your act adjacent to the monster, you are knocked down. So whenever you end adjacent to the monster, you're knocked down. We will get up again. Never gonna keep you down. Yes, ma'am. I'll put that on the sheet, please. I don't want to. And what was your D5, out of curiosity? Ah, uh, venturing minis. I no one rolled D5 yet. No one rolled D5. So can you please have them roll a D5? Yeah. You didn't ask for one, that's why. That's okay. No. Funny, show... You, roll, you asked for D10. Show them the roll, the picture of the oh. platypus. No, the otter. Uh, a one. You gain one. Oh no, I you didn't ask for, for it. Here. You gain four. So you're gonna gain four insanity. See, I asked for it. I told you. Where? Because I only see a D10. No. She just asked for it. No, everyone did it when I asked, and it was a one. I don't. That's... It's right, right after Fen shared the the link. You rolled a D5, but you didn't ask for one. Not on my phone, at least. Yeah, I don't have that on my okay. phone. Okay, we'll go with it. We'll go with the one after the second one, which is a four. Okay, so I'm you are insane. now insane. Um, that is the end of the monster's turn? Yep. Right? Oh, no, that wasn't the monster's turn. That was a reaction. That was a reaction. And what next? I'm knocked down, so when someone gets me up, I can't do anything. TP, would you like to spend a survival to lift Josh? I don't really care if I'm knocked down. Uh, sure. Okay. So let's roll a d10 to see if we actually spend the survival. Or if we gain it back. And then, Josh, it is the monster's turn. You lose the survival. Uh, I'm going to put my sh- I'm going to check the air cards. So Who you has the most red affinity? I have most red affinities. I have, I have one red affinity. Oh, I'm sorry, Twitch has one red affinity. Yeah, I have zero. So if it's you, then it's going after you. Okay. So I'll do that. I don't know what that is. Up some. You don't know what one is. He's like, I'll do that. He wasn't. Oh. Uh, uh, he was selecting which AI card he wants to do. Is it an otter? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's an otter. That's adorable. Is it an otter? Yeah. That's an otter! You really have to love one an otter. Alright, so I moved. I am going to... Wow. I guess I'll... I won't search yet. I'll search once I get targeted. I'm going to get a coffee because I am yawning. Do you want to stop hitting the table? Sorry. I, just, I keep seeing the table just go... Bah, 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 All right, so Matt, you're a monster controller? Yep. You can you give me a glass of water? Thank you. Uh, I am monster controller now. It is the monster's turn, so what is the next AI card? He is going to do Thunderbolt right. Uh, Thunderbolt right is the survivor with the most red affinities. That's you, Josh. Right? Which one? Um, my tank. Okay. So he is going to go step you first, so don't get too ahead of yourself. I'm using my survival to throw my shield. Yeah. I'm taking two damage, which means I have to roll on the brain drama. Good. So it's a nine. That's a nine. A nine is new perspective. You are knocked down and gain one d10 insanity. Oh. Nice roll, Josh. Nice roll. He rolled a one, in case anyone was wondering. Okay. Okay. Uh, TP, can you do me a favor? Yeah. 
I need you to ask chat for three D10s. Thank you very much. It's going to hit on a seven plus? It is going to hit on a seven plus, but each one's going to do eight damage. Oh, damage. It would have been really nice if you rolled, if you got at least three insanity from that one. So you would have been immortal. But you're not immortal. I have a shield up. You're just a pansy. An eight, a nine, and a five. So that's one miss. You can then block one with your shield and then dodge the other one. Uh, to the body, I will dodge it. And I regain my survival. So you're fine. Uh, so nothing else happens. I'm sorry about that. So that is the end of the monster's turn. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. He also has his green lens open. Ooh, that would have been bad. It would have been minus three to severe injury rolls. Oh, does he have his blue eye open? No, his blue no. eye is not open. Okay. Uh, nurse is telling me off. I have to go. Catch you later. Good luck with the hand. Bye, all. Bye, Fen. Bye, Hope Fen. you're okay that there's a nurse. Take care, Fen. Maybe it it's a naughty section. nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, we have horrible senses of humor. We have the same brain. But thank you for stopping by, Fen. Hi, hey, Daphne. Um, all right. That's the end of... The monster's turn. Monster's and it is turn? our turn again. Our turn. So, Josh, you stand up. No. No. Because that was on your surge? That was on when he attacked me. That was my brain. Ah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Uh, if I just get sent a uh, smiley face. There you go. It's a sex or, or nurse. Good. Sex nurse. Good. <laughs> uh, so... Do you want to go first? That's a crit location on top, right? Yes, it is. So I'm going to run to his blind spot. And I'm going to attack. I'm going to hit on a 4 plus. That's a 5. That's it. That is it. Hey, Coral. A 5. I need a 7, 8, 9, 10 to crit. Is blue open? Blue's not open. Blue is not open. 9. That's a crit. So you do an extra damage. damages right? the monster's ornate armor and gains plus 1 survival. Add 1 extra token to impossible eyes. So TP, can you do me a favor? You can have great timing right now. You keep coming back right as I need you to do something. Oh, you filled that up to the brim. I filled it too high and then I realized I needed milk. So. Milk. Milk. Can you please reduce the monster's life total by 2? No. So you would open one, but you close all the lenses. Yeah, close all the lenses. Well, it's, no, it, it says ignore all lens effects. Okay. And instead flip all lenses closed. All right. So it's down to 11 life. You did two, right? Yeah, okay. 13 to 11. All right, so a trap card's next, again. Can you do anything about that? I can I can keep pushing it down. I'm, I'm able to do that. The question is, probably if we're actually going to try to beat him, we're going to probably have to hit the trap card at some point. Why? Because how many cards he has left? At some point. That doesn't mean now. I think you should be it the one... Gets, he attacks everyone when you hit his trap. Oh, really? He goes steps to everyone and does a basic attack against them. And it gets modified for each lens that is open. Let me attack again. I don't want I'm just, to. I'm just saying that's, there, that's part of the... I will move it. I will, I will take my turn. Thank you, Joshua. So, please put a crit location, a good crit location, next. Oh, do you, you want to have Torch go first? Because I'm going to give him two fresh cards. We could. And then, if they don't go through, then you can clean up whatever one is left. Okay. Um, no spear specialist, huh? No, we do not have a spear specialist. We actually have not had anyone specialize in anything yet, because we haven't had anyone live long enough with a weapon yet to do anything. Yep. So, that, that's the bad thing. So, Josh, order those how you best see fit. See best fit, best fit seeing. And we'll have TP go next, because let's have Twitch do some damage, too. Woo! <clears throat> <clears throat> um. All right, I'll do this one. All right, so, TP, you're up next. Can you please roll two D10s? And you guys are going to hit on a 6+. plus. Are they attacking with their butt? To the butt. Yes, they're attacking with their butt to the butt. With their butt to you the are, butt. You do have them facing butt to butt. Yeah. How else do you play? That is my favorite way to do it. That's a four and a seven, so that's one hit. So, how are you handing that to me? So I like still get a ten to 
Uh, yes, you are attacking. And that's a ten. Really? Yep. Jesus. Okay, so the hand is impressed. All survivors gain plus one survival, and the hand gains a minus one damage token. That was a good hit. That's a fantastic hit. Minus one, so that's plus zero then. Exactly. And then we get one survival? We all get one survival. And you reduce the monster's life total by one, right? And also there's one more command I have to do. And what's that? Oh, and I swear for the hell did that. Yeah, that was, that was pretty awesome. Um, and what color aura do they have? They have a red or red and blue aura. So TP, would you like to open up red or blue? I would say blue because the next one's red, right? It just makes it a first strike. It's not. Oh, okay. Up to you if you want to open a red or a blue. Can I opt for neither? Nope. To open up one of them. Boo. Blue. Okay. Um, if you crit the next one, Matt. Yes. You get to close it. Oh, okay. So I will attack right now. So I'm going to spend the survival, the survival that I just got for free. More attack says no reactions? Uh, when you crit, you ignore reactions. Yep. And it was a wound reaction, which kind of would have been really nice. What was the wound? Minus four toughness to the end of the turn. Oh, that would have been really nice. But none of us could have. We all can crit. Yeah. That's Thank a, you for hitting my mini. It's a nine. That's a hit. I wish that was my next roll. That's a nine. Cool. That's another crit. Ignore all closed lens effects and instead flip a lens card of your choice. A piece of armor breaks loose. Gain one broken lantern resource. So TP, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Did I reduce it from when I hit it? Ah, yes. Thank you, Scragglefoot. You are knocked down because you ended your act adjacent to the monster. Shouldn't I have reduced it when I hit it too? Yes. Okay, so it's ten and then there was another one, right? Yep, so you go down to nine. Nine. We're actually doing okay. Okay. Um, I don't Wartok like this. says no. I meant on the wound location. It says ignore reactions for the round, right? We you didn't wound the monster. You 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 did, but because you crit the monster, it ignores the all reactions, including all reactions. wound reactions. That's reflexes, wounds, and failures all get ignored when you crit the monster, even if it's a benef beneficial one. Yep. All right, so that is the end of my turn. Um, can we do anything else here? Um, I'm knocked down, so I really can't do anything. I will spend a survival to stand you up. I've got plenty of survival okay. with how long this thing's gonna probably wind up going on. So you're standing back up now. So go ahead and take your turn. Oh. You just crack all over the place. No, that's Josh. <laughs> yep, it sounds like the hand is about to pimp slap us. You're not wrong. He's probably going to. I'm going to put this one up first. <laughs> you guys are playing against impossible eyes, correct? Yes, we are. Yes, yep. All right. So, he's going to go step. Where do I want him to go step to? Um, not on the stone face. So move over here? Yeah, that would be the best. Okay. All right, so you moved over there, and you're throwing your shield up, or I'm assuming? Do you... I wonder if they can hear the cat in the background from outside. He's going to have his back to the stone face. Oh, that's bad. I'm just trying to think, like... Well, go on this side. Because then he'll have his back here, and we can still run up behind him. You gotta, you'll have to dash. That's fine. I'm not overly concerned about that. Okay. Meow. Meow. Okay. Meow. And I'm on control. It's not great, actually, but I'm gonna get insanity. All right. So thunderbolt right. So pick target survivor with the most red affinities. I put my shield up. Use survival. And he's attacking you, correct? Yep. So he's going to ghost step you, and you're going to get two brain damage. Uh, since he targeted me, I get one. I had one, so I'm at zero. Ugh. And now he's going to attack. So TP, please roll three d10s. Uh, he is going to hit Josh on a seven plus, and he's going to do seven damage on each hit. It's funny that they can hear Lucy from outside, but sometimes they can't even hear Josh speaking next to the microphone. 
That's, that's one loud ten. pad or one quiet Josh. No, he rolled before. That's a nine. nine. That's one hit. That's a hit. And cursing everyone with the witch powers. A five. five. That's a miss. miss. And, and me. Oh, okay, then I don't care anymore. Um, no, we're talking. You rolled too early, so I don't count. Yep. You you just got that ten out of the way. Yeah. You did. Yeah. One quiet Josh. So it's one hit, one miss, and, and an eight. An eight. That's two hits. So shield is one. Would you like to dodge? Otherwise, you're gonna take. Uh, don't you use don't... my survival. Okay. Good. So monster does nothing. So that's the end of our turn. It uh, the monster's turn rather, and now it's the beginning of our turn. So, would you like to rearrange that hit location deck? Harumph. Harumph. That's nice. What's you wanna, nice? You wanna read? Or... Well, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. These are both... Pretty good. Pretty good. I see there's a failure location on the one. Is it a bad failure? Yes. So put that one second. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. So the failure is they suffer minus one permanent movement and are knocked down. Eh. It's not know. horrible, but the crit is you gain one strange iron resource. So, um, and Mel- this also closes all lines. This closes all lines. Right. So Maelstrom, um, Josh is no longer mortal because he has zero insanity right now. Yes. Only yeah. immortal when I'm insane. Yeah. This one, the crit is the hanging minus one speed token. Ooh, that's really nice. So really put that nice. one on top, and I'm going to go for that one. Okay. So I don't need to go and hit him in the butt. Because I have pretty good accuracy anyways. So I'm just going to run up to his face. Best it the, uh, the trap with... Yeah, that's true. Yep. So I am attacking with my rib blade. I need a... Five plus to hit. That's a two. It's a five plus or is it a four plus? It's a six plus. I have two permanent accuracy and then minus one accuracy token. You doubt my mathing ability, Joshua. So now I'm going to roll again. I spent my survival. That's a four. That's a miss. Twitch, you want to go hit him? Obviously. Hit him in the butt. Always hit it in the butt. Okay, so we need two D10s to be rolled, and you all will be hitting on a 6 plus. Hit it and crit it? Hit it and crit it, hopefully. Yeah. Not now. Don't, don't do roll the 10s now. That's a 4 and a 1, so you miss both. I would like to surge and go again. Spend the survival. See if you spend the survival. You do spend it. Let's see if you get it back. Seven more rounds. Give it back. It's max one. And he's got nine more life, so... It's going to be close. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Don't know. Don't know, don't care? Don't know, don't care? I do care. I care a lot. Now, Josh, you do have the Zambato. I do. You could, uh, that's one, so you spend your survival. So now we need two more D10s, and again, you guys will hit on a six plus. So two D10s, six plus. We got a five. That's a miss, just barely. (laughs) <laughs> wah, 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 wah. One more. One more D10. That's an eight, so you do hit. So you are attacking the exotic silk cape. And so, it's a four. Yeah, you needed a, a ten for that. So nothing happened. I'm surprised I hit him twice needing a ten. Yeah, that's, I mean, Pretty what impressive. are the chances? Pretty impressive. Um, I can't go anymore. Josh, you want to go and attack with the Zambato? can only crit. Yeah. And if I fail, I'm going to get minus one movement. Yeah. So? Just crit it. You won't have to worry about getting the minus movement if you just don't fail. Right? 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 Yeah, Josh is going to attack. So what do you need to hit? Six plus. It's an That's eight. an eight. That's a hit. So you are attacking his what? His exotic rib plate. Oh, it's super oh, dense. No, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. You freaking call me into things. I'm like... Oh, no. It's only super dense if his uh, green eyes open. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So, um, what do you need to crit? Uh, nine down. That's an eight. Oh, really, Josh? Yep. Oh, wow, that was really suck. Oh, man, that stinks. Aww. All survivors feel a sharp pain as their bones and their toes fuse together. Oh, it's all survivors. Yeah, we all suffer my... I hate you. You the one told me to hit it. We all suffer minus one permanent movement and are knocked down. Place the monster in the center of the showdown board. Oh, that's annoying. We're all knocked down. We all get minus one permanent movement, and all of us now have webbed feet. And we all move to the center of the show. Wait, no, he moves moment. to the center yeah, of the show. Yeah, I know. I got it. I was, I was kidding. It was a joke. Oh, Josh. A <sighs> joke. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. <laughs> all right. Monster's turn. Survivor with the most blue affinities. That would be me. I have two. Three. I have three. Sure, you can take it. Huh? You can take it. So he's attacking me with bullet jabs. Bullet jabs. So he's going to ghost step me. So he's going to jump over to the side of me. So I'm going to take two brain damage. I still have six insanity. And he is attacking me for five speed. So TP, please six roll. Speed. Plus six one speed. speed. TP, please roll 60 tens. Six yeah, ten. sixty tens. Yeah, one Six. chance to get iron, and I was one too short. Sixty tens. Sixty tens. I have two evasion, so that's terrible. Four plus. A hits. four plus to hit. I hate you so much. Two. That's, okay, that's a miss. Five. One, one hit. hit. That's two with one hit. Let's keep it roly poly, Olean. Two hits. Three hits. Three hits. Four dice Two more dice. A nine. How you count the nine? They counted the nine. Four hits. One more die. Five hits. Great rolls, guys. Five five hits for two damage each. Damage isn't too bad. Yeah, damage isn't bad. We actually have enough dice now. Yeah, we do. So I got the waist, the waist, the head, the body, and the foot. It's actually... I feel like you didn't finish filling out your sheet. Uh, no, I didn't. Do I really have no arm armor? Yes, you have no arm armor. Arm, well, I, didn't get, I did get hit in the arms. So that's two damage, so I have a heavy there, so I'm knocked down. I'm knocked down anyways. Um, I then take... Four damage to the waist, so I have no more waist armor, just a light hit. I took two damage to the body, so I have one armor left there. And then I took two damage to the feet, so I now have a light wound there. Oh, no severe injuries or anything. You're good. I could take it. Look at you. You had faith in me, Josh? Yeah. My other guy could have also No, no, no yeah. Just... He also had the same amount of uh, blue affinities, but... I like how Josh is just like... He oh, has no mine, armor. Mine's better. Mine's better. And mine's that's better the cat eye circle and everything else. All right, so that is the end of the monster's turn, and it is our turn, but we're all knocked down. Do we, in fact, get up again? But we're knocked down on our turn, yes. so we're back up, so the monster's gone. Actually, you're right. We are all up now, right? Yep. That's not bad. Do we activate the trap yet, or keep on... Keep on rolling. Gotta keep on, keep, keep on, on, keep on, on dancing. Through the night. There's. Four. We might as well just keep going. We'll milk it out as long as we can. Give me a good crit. Josh, give me a good crit. Josh. And that one's Josh. Not a good crit. Josh. If you want one. Josh. Here, sure, you get that one. Josh. Oh, I do that all the time. I blame Josh for everything bad. It's rule three. All right. So I'm going to move to his butt. I can't move to his butt because I have minus one permanent movement because my toes fuse together. You want to move his butt? So I'm going to attack. Um, I need a five plus to hit. That's a oh, perfect hit. I would have liked to have saved that. So I am attacking it with... I'm attacking his exotic poet's blouse. It's very romantic. It's a six. Oh, I thought it was a nine. I, I crit on seven, down, eight, nine. nine, ten. That's horrible. So nothing happens. Is that a good one? Oh, that would have been a really good one. I hate you. 
Um, I'm going to spend a survival and go again. Okay. Are you done any more damage? Nope. So I'm attacking again. I can tell you what it is. It's a six. That's a hit. Just re-roll your die. That's a four. I hate you. Why do you listen to him? Because he's a schmuck. off the table. He's a schmuck. No, you you don't keep off the table rolls. Why? That's the rule. It's the rule. It's the rule. TP, would you like to attack? Uh, yes, please. Um, if you hit with both of these, you hit the trap card. <laughs> Before she goes, I am putting up my shield with my other character. Okay, go ahead, TP. Can she actually... Oh, she's in the corner? Yeah. Two and a one. Look at you worrying about me. She has to go twice. here. She only has four more. I'm going to uh, use a... Survival to surge. You're going to see if you regain your survival from that, your armor. That stuff and those things. <sighs> You could always go with the Zambato too, Josh. Try and crit him there. Crit your face. Because the crit would be nice. It would drop do him you, down to seven health. Do you guys have much as much trouble as I do trying to hit the damn thing? Um, you have really bad accuracy. I actually have two natural accuracy. There so were the five. That's a miss. So you need a. My... You need a seven plus to hit him. Oh no, that's not a. That's for their. No, it's a oh. ten. So that's a hit. It would have been nice if that ten was for later on. Yeah. Wait, so now you need one more d10. A two. That's a miss. That's good. Now you need one more d10. You're attacking the Gilded Crown. You need a ten here. You it's a d10. Or not. need a ten. Or not. A ten. Or not. A ten. Or not. They have one lock. What is it? I'm hanging on the edge of my seat, Panda Bot. I didn't want to accept Everons for whatever reason. What happened? What Where'd happened? Go ahead and re-roll that, Eberron, or anyone else. So it's two. the same thing. It starts with a T, right? Perform Ghost Step, targeting the attacker. The attacker must spend three survival or face a perfect counterpunch and suffer five damage to a random hit location, bash, and a minus one speed token. Survival spent. I bet you what was supposed to pop up was a 10. I bet you. I bet you. Okay. So they don't get any of that since they spent it? Yeah, roll? they're fine. What do you want to do, Josh? You want to stop playing with the token? You want to shoot him with your bow guy? He's way out of range. Unless you jump him on the face, no? I already spent my activation this turn with him. You don't have to get so salty. Hmm. What do you want to do, Josh? Josh? It's the end of everyone's turn. Josh? Next up, TP is the monster controller, and we have Bullet Jags, a survivor with the most blue affinities. Oh, it's Matt. Yes, it is. So he's so getting he's another six dice for Matt. Yep. So he's going on a four plus, so two, six dice. Go step me. Did you take your two damage from the last go step? Me? Yes. Why did I get damage? Or twitch. twitch. You take two brain damage from his go stepping before, TP. I'm sorry, two brain damage? Yes, yes. ma'am. So I need six D10s to be rolled against me. One second, hang on. Armor, brain, two. Six D10s. Yep, and they are going to hit me on a four plus. Whew. Luckily, they're only for two damage each because TP had that wonderful crit before. That's a one. A one. A six. One hit. A one. The hell? <laughs> Get all the ones out now. Yeah. So two more D10s. LOL, a one. All the ones. This is good, though. The ones are good here. I appreciate it. That's for sure. We need two more D10s. A five. That's a hit. And one more. And a ten. ten. Okay. So three, so hits. three hits for two damage each. And that's going to be the hands, the hands, and the hands. Um, I think I think your hands hurt. So I'm going to spend a survival to dodge one of them. Okay. Then I'm going to roll. roll twice on the severe injury table. You have unbreakable. I know. First one is a seven. So a seven is broken arm. 
Got Suffer to you. minus one permanent accuracy and minus one permanent strength. Uh, this injury can is permanent can be recorded twice, gain a bleeding token. That's okay. Because if you live to the end, your broken arm will be healed. I know. And roll again. High <laughs> five our weight. Another seven. I broke my other arm. Do you have any arms? I'm just like, eh. No, he has arms, though. They're just broken. Yeah. Are you Hope 2.0? Yeah, no, they're just broken. He just broke all of... He punched my arms until they broke. <laughs> okay, so that's bad now. My accuracy's horrible now. Okay. That's the end of the monster's turn. Currently our turn. Yep. So, who's next? We have to hit the trap card now. Have to hit the trap card. Just have to. Just have to. Have to have just to. have to have just gotta Hold do your it. weapon with your teeth like a hero. Just gotta do it. Gotta uh, I'm gonna put the hands. shield up on my character. Twitch, go hit him in the butt. Sure. Roll two d10s. You're gonna need a six plus to hit the monster. Oh, I never gave myself plus two insanity into part. Two and five. So we're gonna roll again to see if we can surge. And that's a four. So I lose my second to last survival. No, um, it's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, let's see. Then we're going to roll twice again. Not good at all. Not good. Keep getting older and it stays the same age. That's six. six. That's a hit. You hit the trap card. You hit the trap card. Full speed. Perform a basic action targeting all survivors one at a time, starting with the survivor that drew this card. No! So, he has no lenses open, so that's a nice thing. So he's going to perform Ghost Step. TP, please reduce your brain, uh, your insanity, by two. That's zero. Okay. And roll three d10s for yourself to get no. hit. No. I don't want to. Tell me I don't have to. But you have to. But tell me I don't have to anyway. It'll make me feel better. I don't want to make you feel better. I want to make you feel worse. Nine. Nine. That's a hit. Three. It's a miss. That's a and miss. Five. That's two hits. Five is a hit? How much? How many evasion? It's on the screen in front yeah. of you, Josh. Um, three, three evasion, it's a two plus accuracy, so, so it's five. a five plus. So yes, it's two hits. Two hits. So roll two hit, hit location dice. And they are doomed, right? Uh, no. Oh, you're not doomed. Nope, you are not doomed. You can actually dodge one of these if you need to. Oops, <laughs> yes, NHL. Uh, that was the only card available. So we had to activate the trap. So your arms and your body. So you're going to take five damage to your arms and five damage to your body. And freaking damage. This is two heavy hits. That's actually good. You don't have to spend a survival to dodge it because it's just two heavy hits. You would just get knocked down. Arms in my body? Yep. Because you have three armor at each. So it would just check both boxes. And then you're going to suffer knockback ten. And he's going to go to the center of the showdown board. So now he's going to attack. Let's do your bow guy next, Josh. Boop. You're a boop. So, uh, TP, we need three more D10s to be rolled. What's your evasion? One. One whole evasion. So, three plus hits Joshy Bear. I love Joshy Bear. Uh, that's a three. Oh, that's an eight. eight. That's two hits. And one more. Cool, refreshing water. A nine. nine. That's three hits. So you're getting hit in the body, the arms, and the feet. That's the agony of defeat. Defeat or an agony? Well, his feet are because they're getting basic action. Well then. What are you doing, Josh? And remember, you're taking I'm gonna... five damage to each location. I'm dodging the body. Yeah, we ran out of cards in the deck, Maelstrom. Yes. Like, we actually burned through the entire hit location deck. Yes. Um, I have to do two severe injuries. Oh, that's good. What's the first one? Let's do arms first. A three. Three. Bleeding. Gain two bleeding tokens. Then the feet. Three. Bleeding. Gain two bleeding tokens. If you gain one more bleeding token, you die. That's nice. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. So, no permanent injuries, though. So then he's going to jump back to the center of the board, and now he's going to go attack... Your guy, so he's going to destroy this copy. Um, is that destroyable? No. No, it's, he really? just lands on top. Oh, okay. 
Uh, what's a five on the brain trauma table? A five on the brain trauma table is danger seizures. Deal one damage to yourself and gain a random disorder and one d5 insanity. And we're going to need some d10 roll for me. So when you activate the cat eyes, don't you force a reshuffle. No, you do not. I uh, rolled a seven, so that's going to be four. And then a uh, disorder. And TP, we need three more D10s to be rolled. Josh has three evasion, so this is going to hit him on a five plus. Sun drunk. When I have any plus one strength tokens, I cannot dash, dodge, or run away. I'm sorry, what did you say to me? Three more D10s. Everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Got distracted with something. Two. That's a miss. Seven and a five. So that's two hits. Two hits. I have a shield up. So you take one hit for five damage, and that's attacking your body. Body. So oh, wait, no. Five damage? Yes. I suffer another super brain injury. Oh, that's nice. A uh, four. A four is flee. You are knocked down and suffer knockback equal to your movement towards the closest board edge. Gain one D5 insanity. I gain two insanity. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, so who is next? He's going to jump back to the middle, and then he's going to attack me. Um, he's going to go here. Okay, so TP again, 3d10 to be rolled, please. Okay. And I have 2 evasion, so it's going to hit me on a 4+. plus. This might kill me. An eight, that's one hit. A four, that's one hit. And we need one more d10. I'm gonna assume that it's a hit. <sighs> Disappointing. Two. Oh, two hits. Two. So, that's hitting me in the head and the body. The head you can take. Yeah, the head I can take. And the body, I don't want to take. You can dodge. So right. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna dodge that. I have three survival, so I'm going to drop that down to two. Dodge the body. I'm going to take the head, because I have six head armor, so I'm going to still have one head armor when all is said and done. So then he's going to jump back to the middle, and he has officially attacked all of us. Alright. I still have not gone with the bow guy yet. The bow guy is going to check Agar. Oh, this actually gets all shuffled up. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Do you want to shuffle? No. They have to pay for that. <laughs> ah, the cod piece is back on top. Ooh. 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 This could be... We could actually... All right, I'm going to check the top two cards. Of the hit location, de or the AI deck. Ooh, duration cards. Oh yeah, we haven't had any duration cards yet. That makes things even worse. We're not doing particularly well. We started with a, a, a good shot, and slowly but surely started failing miserably. Slowly and surely. Alright, so here's the thing. What? You know what we could do, Josh? What? We could actually kill him now. Don't be a pansy. I'm trying to think if we can or not. Alright, so... I have my arms. They're just broken. This will give him minus 10 evasion. This duration card. Oh. When this is drawn, though, the next one's going to happen. If this goes off, we're probably going to have some people die. Okay, but so if that's minus 10 evasion... Mm -hmm. Hear me out here. You've got... What's that one thing? I have um, Champion's Right. Champion's Right. So I definitely do a wound. So here's the thing. If I go first and I crit the cod piece, then you go next and Champion's Right it, we have a chance to kill him. Yes. Yes. Dude, that's our best chance. <sighs> oh, God. Arms. I've seen oh, enough right Oh, God, no. Really no, 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 no. No. Okay. So, Matt, this is what he brings up. So, take your best shot. 
When this card is drawn face down, the monster turns to face away from the most possible survivors. Then it moves one space forward and crosses its arms. So he's going to... Oh, that's annoying. So he's going to move here, right? <laughs> uh, when this card is in play, the monster has minus 10 evasion. If a trap card is revealed... Oh, Jesus. I'm going to... One, two... Oh, I am just in range. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay. Are you in range, though? No, there's no way you could... Oh, you could... Is that your guy with champions, right? Yep. Oh, so we can do this. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. I don't visit Reddit to know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know. All right, That's everyone gets up. Okay, so everyone stands up. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Okay. I'm going to dash, and I'm going to go all the way up here. It's my eight spaces. One survivor left. I think this is our all or nothing moment here. So, I'm going to attack. He's got minus 10 evasion, right? Yes. So, just don't hold on. It's a perfect hit. I need that 10 for this. I'm attacking his gilded cod piece. An 8. That's a crit. Okay. So, what does it say for crit? The hand is knocked down and gains a plus 1 damage token. If the hand suffers a wound before it stands up, add 20 tokens to impossible eyes. The attacker may add roll 1d10 and add their understanding. How much life does the... Um... Oh, he takes one wound right now. So he has eight left? Yes. And what eye do you open? Does this, you still open an eye, right? Yeah. Four, then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 11. I don't do that. So he keeps his plus one damage token. Okay. I'm opening his blue. Okay. So that ends my turn. Um, okay. Josh, can you please activate champions, right? One, two, three, four. I actually don't have to jump up on the thing. He's knocked down? Yes, he's knocked down. So the stone face is not going to even help me. But jump it up. So first, I'm, I'm going to shoot my arrow with champions, right? He's got minus 10 evasion anyways, so... I need the strength. Okay. So champion right adds my understanding to my strength. Oh, your strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to give me plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 14, so as long as I don't roll a 1 on my wound attempt, I wound. Yeah, as long as you don't roll a 1 on the hit and a 1 on the wound. Yes. So roll, please. 4. Four. That's, That's a, hit. a hit. You're attacking the... Gilded Curus. Oh my god, Josh! What did you do? <laughs> did you roll one? Yep. Joshua! Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's see that one! <laughs> Good job, Josh. Reflex, perform ghost step, targeting the attacker. Wait, he's knocked out, so no reflex. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. What's that the bad. next card? No, 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 this is okay. We can still do this. We all need to gang up on him and do a wound. If only we had a founding stone. We need to do a wound. It's got a crit location, let me go. Okay. I'm going to spend a survival to attack. This is where everyone loses... Their movement, if you fail this. That's a four. I hit. I'm attacking his exotic rib plate. Yeah! Ow! Yeah! That's a crit. I crit. A chunk of the rib plate comes free. Gain one Iron Strange resource. Since I attacked the cod piece and crit it before and hit him in the balls, he gets 20 tokens added to Impossible, or impossible Eyes. When he reaches at least 17 tokens on impossible eyes, we flip this card to respect. So that's essentially, I just did 20 damage to him. So he's dead. Wait, he's very, very wait. freaking dead. Well, flip the card over. Respect. It's not done. Give he, it to the camera. Yeah. Okay. When the monster suffers a wound, it is impressed. Target the attacker. Oh, I forgot about this. This is bad. 
Uh, the hand draws its blade. All survivors are doomed. Survivors within two spaces of the hand are scorched by the hot air from the speed of the attack. They each suffer two damage, and their flammable gear is destroyed. Archive it. Yeah, the flammable gear. So I'm suffering two damage to my feet. He gave me some hot foot. So I now have to roll a severe injury on my feet. The pain of defeat. That's a three. Two bleed tokens. Two bleed tokens. So now the hand draws its blade. Um, I right, did that. Roll a d10. To be roll d10. On the result of two plus, I'm going to suffer ten damage. I have unbreakable. You have unbreakable. I have unbreakable. <laughs> Josh just got so excited. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! No, no, this, is, this is actually really good. All right. So, so what? They, they rolled a five. They rolled a five. I'm going to suffer ten damage with minus four to my severe injury rolls. So, so what would you have rolled? A two. I would have been dead. You would have been dead. But I have Unbreakable, so instead I'm going to take a random disorder. I get to do that, because I have Unbreakable. Tangible, elegant, bore arson, no sexy. (laughs) (laughs) I am apathetic. Cure this disorder if you have eight understanding. I have seven understanding. But, so I'm apathetic. Uh, You cannot use or gain survival. You cannot gain courage. So, apathetic. Apathetic. Cannot use or gain survival or courage. So then, since I survived, I gained the Swordsman's Promise Secret Fighting Art. So, what is the Swordsman's Promise Secret Fighting Art? You know, it's like the best fighting art in the game. It's it's so uh, wonderful. It's the best. You should know this already. We we had this. We talk. had this discussion, but I don't remember it. So the swordsman promised secret fighting art. At the start of each showdown, gain survival. Showdown. Showdown. Do I hear rain? Yes, you do hear rain. Yeah. yeah. At the start of each showdown, gain survival up to your settlement's survival limit if you have a sword in your gear grid. Wow, that sucks. Yep. Yeah. Not anything great. That really sucks. But more importantly, the hand stops and the showdown ends. The survivors are victorious. We win. We beat a level two hand the, by but punching you it. Kill it. So does it count? You technically can't ever kill the hand, right? Yeah. This this is the most you do. Yeah. The most you do is you you hit him once and he's like, hey, nice job. We we punted him in the crotch. <laughs> And he's like, all right, I've had enough of this. I'm <laughs> you guys suck. I'm going home. <laughs> that wasn't cool, man. Uh, so, the hand hesitates before leaving. Roll a d10. TP, please roll a d10. No. Hmm? Huh? Do we Dick. not heal any of that other stuff because we didn't... Oh, boy. Uh, what was it? The seven. A seven. The hand is a sore loser. He punts a broken lantern. Uh, we need to pick a random survivor. So let's do one, a two. Random survivor. It could be someone in the settlement. Oh. Oh, okay. Do we have a cogswaggle? Uh, cogswaggle just died. Do we have another cogswaggle? We always have a cogswaggle. Um, who got the final blow? I did! Closest? Closest survivor in range, with my broken arms. Two people won. Mm. Maelstrom bet 100 and won 1,500 points. 1,500. 1,500. Hundo. Hundo. Hundo? Hundo Accord points. So the rather unfortunate thing about beating him this way is it actually kind of sucks. Um... Kyle Bob, 2.0. Kyle Bob is going to suffer a random severe head injury. So, TP, please roll a d10. And it's a 5. How did I put that? You stole it from me, you bastard. Um, let's see. A 5 is intracranial hemorrhage. You can no longer use or gain any survival. This injury is permanent and can be recorded only once. Gain a bleeding token. So Kyle Bob has an intracranial hemorrhage. So we also add one scrap to the settlement storage. 
And that's it. We win. I forgot how bad it was to actually beat the hand the traditional way. Yep. If you beat him the way where you just kind of take everything, that you you get, like, plus evasion and stuff. Yeah. This is, you just, yeah. he no, says, is... I hate you, and you get this mediocre secret fighting art, and you go away. That's that's what we could have had. So show that to chat. So this is what we could have had. You roll a d10, and on a one, you die. Two to three, you spend a survival or die. Four to six, gain a permanent strength. And on a seven plus, you gain a permanent strength, accuracy, evasion, and a random fighting art. It's pretty and awesome. he also heals all broken injuries. Yeah. But, because we didn't do it that way, we don't get any of those benefits. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, everyone got a ton of XP. Yeah. I edged up. Yay. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. 14. Pretty sure that's a random fighter. Okay, so we're going to go back to the settlement now. Did and you level up at all or no? No, I didn't. Yeah, 14's a random fighting art. A farting art. Unbreakable because he has dragon vestments. Nice. Alright, so we're going back to the settlement. So, Josh, we need the settlement events. Whatever shall happen. Can't you kill him for. No, no. Same thing happens. Even level three. Mm -hmm. Level three, he's just like... He's almost impossible to kill. Because he has like 30 toughness. Can you stop doing whatever you're doing, TB? Thank you. Yeah. Wow, I forgot how crabby the hand is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are getting... If you're happy and you know it. No. No. It's instructions! Ooh. I will end you! Instructions. Book! Elder Council! The elders of the settlement gather to reminisce over their hard-won scars. Count the total number of hunt XP among all survivors. Do we have Saga? No. Do we have Scarification? No. We don't have Rectums either. No. Maybe we don't have Rectums? <laughs> we don't have Rectums either, no. Josh is attempting to count right now. I need yours and TP's characters. I have three, that's six. 21 total. 21 total? 21 is just enough for the, the third level. We can now hunt the Beast of Sorrow. Ooh. Beast of Sorrow. So minus one endeavor on the elders, I'm sorry, one of the elders recalls a story about a bizarre lion it met on a dangerous hunt. The monster was mourning and it's, in its paw held a tattooed human hand. Add the Beast of Sorrow to your quarry list. You will find its rules on the legendary monster story event page. You may now hunt this monster. We have access to a legendary monster now. That's pretty cool. It's cool. The Beast of Sorrow is a, a nice fight. It's a good fight. I thought about that. And we didn't get to do it. We, we and now why before? bother hunt anything else? Because we can get rid of Gorm Climate. So, update to 1.5 rules. Yeah, you can only hunt Beast of Sorrow once. Yes. Yeah. A one time fight. And that is what we are playing with since we're playing with all the other one, the known 1.5 updates. So, Beast of Sorrow will be a one time huntable monster. Alright, so we need to do Gorm Climate now. So, TP, can you please have chat roll another D10? Yep. Well, John had posted some crazy. John was in E3 today. Yeah. How was that? He had a good time. He says it was really good. They rolled good. a three. Is it a week or? I believe it is. Uh, I was reading that a booth at E3 is between three and five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Well done. And I'm pretty sure Twitch has a booth there. Oh, Jesus. Uh, jagged pellets of sizzling hail rain from the sky, corroding anything they touch when they land. All resources in the settlement storage are lost. You may avoid this by dismantling an innovation and to create a protective barrier. I can technically get rid of drums. Because we have Song of the Brave. Right? Mm -hmm. right? Right, 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 right. No, he said Saga. Yes. <laughs> it wouldn't have helped anyways because the next bump is 50. So we couldn't... We literally got 21, which is the minimum. Right. I'm going to run drums. We don't need drums. Okay. All right. So next up, 
we are dismantling drums to get rid of Gorm climate to, you know, not lose our resources. Mitigate the effects of Gorm climate. So, TP, can you put the camera back on our pretty faces over here? Uh, I could if I wanted to, but I don't. You do you want to finish up some and some Endeavor stuff, or? Uh, yeah, let's finish up some Endeavor stuff. So let's so throw Kyle fun. Bob at the throne. Okay, so we're gonna spend another Endeavor. So we had four Endeavors. We spent one to drink it. What? Um, we had four endeavors. We spent one to do the uh, the elder story, the elder council. We're going to spend a second one to throw Kyle Bob at the throne. Uh, so can you please roll a d10 TP? Uh, we're throwing Kyle Bob at the throne. I could. Um, sure. Does it, where does it go? It goes here? To fight it. Yeah, you got to get rid of one of your other fighters. I mean, rubber, 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 last man standing. Last man standing. Standing. You're stunning. Wow, Swordsman Promise is awful. That is a really awful secret fighting art. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty long fight. So it's like you, if we beat him and then like get like nothing, basically. Like, I feel like they should switch those rewards around. Yes. Uh, four. What happened to a four, Matt? A four. The survivor stumbles down the gleaming stairs, clutching their disfigured face. Kyle Bob is now blind, Suffer uh, has the blind severe head injury, and gets a scar. All right. Kyle Bob's... So we have two endeavors left. We can't endeavor, uh, innovate, can we? No, we don't have the resources to innovate. But they want to do storytelling. Because we have an iron now. Oh, and we have that cost two. It costs two endeavors. So TP, we need one more D10 to be rolled. And we're going to be doing the song as old as rhyme, the tale as old as time, storytelling. Okay. So that is one D10. I'm glad you did that after Where Tog's three. About four. Oh, no, it's still a two anyways. So a two is spend three resources and gain one understanding. Oh. So if you use that on closest survivor in range, they get rid of their apathetic. Okay. Should have picked who we're doing it first, but... That's fine. And now uh, closest survivor in range has one understanding away from uh, White Secret. So we have no more endeavors, so we are going to be ending tonight's episode right here. Yep, that's, that's everything. All right, so thank you all for joining us this evening. This has been our presentation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, Lantern Year 16 of the People of the Stars campaign. Uh, we would like to say that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Spoils of War, by... Arcane Wonders. Thank you very much, Arcane Wonders. Big shout out to them. We did our... Go ahead. Go ahead. We did our spotlight of them yesterday, so if you haven't had a chance, go check out the video on demand of that. We had a good time with the game. And Super fun to play. Speaking of Arcane Wonders, we will be interviewing them at Origins this week. Um, we will be definitely interviewing them uh, Thursday at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to... Hopefully, some, uh, and hopefully it's live. Ho hopefully it's live. We, it really depends on the internet, but uh, Josh, you want to talk about Origins? Uh, so we are going up to Origins tomorrow night. Who's we? Me, uh, TP, and Ann. That's TP, Ann, and I. No. I'm the most important person. I asked who's going to Origins. He wouldn't respond with I. He would respond with me. TP, Ann, and I are going to Origins. No, no. Me is actually the correct one to say. <laughs> <laughs> what? You usually don't end with me. Like, the full sentence. It's, if you remove everyone else from it, what would be the correct way to say it? You wouldn't say me went to the mall, but if I asked you who's going to this event, me is the proper But response. it's not a full sentence, so the, the correct response is I am going to the event. Because he's not saying, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Grammar right. argument. All right, so uh, we'll be there. We'll get in, I'm going to like six o'clock tomorrow. So, yeah. I mean, we'll be around. I don't know. If I can convince Anne, we'll, we can stream IRL the entire trip. No. The entire trip. Um, and then uh, we'll be all around uh, we'll be Origins. Around Origins, if you're all, there. All week? Yeah, all week. Um, Thursday to Sunday, if you're there, come find us. We have stuff and things, special surprises. And we'll have a table breaker with us. That's the mini. It is the mini. We'll also have the regular. 
The original flavor. And TB, hold that up. I, I just like want to see like the size difference, like between the two cameras. TB's head. Now Josh has an obnoxiously large head. So I that's do. Something to take into account. So are we taking all like four table breakers with us? Is that the plan? Three. Four. We're taking. Oh, this. we are taking four. This one, this one, Anne's and yours. Yep. We're <sighs> taking four table breakers with us. So you mean samples, roll mirror, and the cane? Yes. Yes. And just log the whole trip, TP. I should. Uh, like, uh, Floritza. Oh, God. And um, if you come see us and take a picture with us, it'll unlock something in our campaign, in our Kickstarter campaign. So you guys should definitely do that and help us out. You would have ended me, have would you not, Josh? So we would like to point out that this is currently live on Kickstarter, too. So if you have another chance, go check it out. Yeah. Doing super well right now. Uh, you know, this is our project. We, we like to pimp it out. But it does... <laughs> pimp it out. If you guys show your support, we would really appreciate it. Even if you just share it, we would really appreciate getting the extra exposure out there. Share it back and forth just a dollar. Yeah. That helps, too. That helps well, our metrics. Back and forth a dollar, like, so beneficial, so helpful. So mm -hmm. I'm jealous you'll be at Origins. Why are you jealous that we'll, like, you should just come to Origins? Yeah. All right, so... Uh, other than that, uh, upcoming streams this week, as we were saying, we have Origins all week long going on. Then on Monday, we're going to have our next stream, correct? Our next spotlight? No spotlight. Is it on Monday? I don't believe I booked one for Monday. Okay. So I then we have the day off. Oh, okay. Like, so we get to recover from Origins. Makes sense. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have our continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death next week. So I feel like I'm missing something. If you haven't done so already, please follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us in our Discord channel if you want to stay tuned with everything that's going on channel-wise. And in addition to following us here, if you took out the time to subscribe to us, if you really like it, we would really love it. Every dollar that we get goes back into the stream, uh, getting us better equipment, getting us out to these cons so we can interact with more people from the industry to bring back stuff for you all, interact with you all that are going to be there as well. Uh, and on top of that, help get giveaways for you guys. Yeah. And then finally, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon Prime account to Twitch Prime. And that would allow you to get one free subscription every month. You can use it here, and that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. And if you want to check out some of the other streamers in this network, we have the Tabletop Gaming Network, uh, which is a bunch of fantastic like-minded streamers that are trying to promote and improve the tabletop gaming section of uh, Twitch, board game section of Twitch. So check them all out. They all do fantastic work. Other than that, am I missing anything else, folks? Um, I want to mention now, next Thursday, we don't have a stream this, we don't have a normal stream this week. Next Thursday, we're going to start our new show mm -hmm. called Game On. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be... That's Game On. Game On. I almost did what we were joking about. I'm not going to do that. Thank you. Next. <laughs> um, we're going to be playing Dead of Winter. We're going to be trying to make it chat interactive. And, and I believe we will be joined with the creator, Jonathan Gilmore. Ooh. Yes. Except I won't be here because I'll be in Toronto. Yes. I mean, oh, that's too bad. So that should be a really fun stream. Um, and hopefully we're going to be doing a lot of other streams like that with getting publishers and uh, the game designers on board and making them like really big games, not just like our spotlights. I'm not saying they're not big games, no, but spotlights specifically for things new that games, are just coming out. new games, a lot of indie developers and stuff like that. So people you don't know yet and things that you don't know coming out. This is going to be the, op the other side of that coin. Yes. The, the popular, the really big popular established games in the industry. So we can bring them on and show them off even more and then show off the masterminds behind them. Yes. And that's the point behind that. And hopefully we'll start be, start working with Twitch for a regular... Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we're, we're, we'll, we'll be, we're working on some cool stuff to make it a really cool show for everyone. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Uh, and we're going to be talking to people at Origins about what other games you get on for that show. Mm -hmm. And do that. And if you have any suggestions for games you want to see in the designers that you would like to see on... We have a suggestions improvement section of our... Uh, Discord channel where you can suggest all of these fantastic things that you'd like to see. We like all of the input that we can get because, you know, a lot of times you guys think of stuff that we did not think about and we get some cool ideas for there to improve yeah. the stream. Um, and, uh, like, we want to know what games you guys want to see. Like, you're, you're the people watching this stuff, so mm -hmm. what games do you want to see? What designers do you want to see? And we will try to make that magic happen. Indeed. So we we're going to... 
we're going to work our best and see what we can do. Fantastic. Fantastic. Anything else, guys? I think that's it. All right. Thank you all again so much for joining us this evening. This is Twist Gaming signing off. See you all in Origins. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. I'm TP. And Josh, Ann, and I will see you on Thursday. Uh, Matt, you're not going to see anyone on Origins. I don't know why you said that. Everyone else will. Not you. We as a collective group. Now cry.